Hi, everyone. Good evening. The teacher is here. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Are you okay? Are you good? Are you doing fine? Yes, I'm great. <laughs> Very good, Efrain. Always punctual, right? Rebecca is here with us and also Fernanda Medrano. Yeah, welcome, ladies. It's good to have you again. Thank you so much for being here with me. And it's time to start. Finally, it's Friday, right? I don't know if you if you feel happy when it's Friday, but I do. <laughs> the routine changes during the weekends, right? That's why. And it's good to change routines from time to time. Let's go for the other students. You know, we still have like four minutes before the class. Um, so let's wait for them. Um, hmm. Alex Santos is the one. Remember to write the complete name, Ale. Don't forget about that. It's really, really important. Let's see. Hey. Thank you to the ones who sent the homework assignment. Uh, I appreciate it. You are very responsible and that's the way it has to be. Ah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, Alejandra. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So nice. Um let's see. Lucy is here. Fatima Susana. Welcome, ladies. Welcome to the class. Good evening. It's good to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Don't forget to activate your cameras. I want to see you. Don't be shy. Only Fatima Susana has the camera on. You know, I'm going to give extra credits to Fatima. Extra <laughs> points. I'm going to start giving extra points to the ones who have cameras on. <laughs> and one moment. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. We are waiting for the other students, but in the meantime, maybe you can tell me what's the date for today, huh? What, what's the date? Today is Friday, November the 10th, you know? Time is flying, my, my friends, you know? Time is going so fast and we are so close to the end of the, of the year that it's amazing, you know? It's amazing how how quickly time goes, right? Time goes by so fast. And this is our class number, number seven, you know, class seven. Imagine, wow, and we have only 20 sessions to cover all the topics. So that's, that means that we need to hurry, right? Let me, let me present to you well, before I present to you the, the class objective and, you know, the topic for today's class, I want to listen to some students telling me ideas you remembered um, or ideas you have about yesterday's class. What was yesterday's class about? Let's have a, a, a brainstorm. We, we are going to have a brainstorm um... right now. Anita, type of family. Ah, we talked about family members. Yes. What were you? What were we saying about family members, Genesis Margarita? Uh, for example, who do you live with? Or, uh, uh, 
if you have children. Okay, so we were if, discussing questions, right? Questions related to their information and also or personal information related to the family, like who do you live with? Yes, in Genesis, who do you live with? I remember you mentioned that you have a child, right? That you are a mother. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, right. So I suppose you live with your with your uh child, but I don't know if you live with any other person. Yeah, no, I live with only with my son. Oh, and what is your son's name? His name is Lucas. Lucas. How old is Lucas? Um three years old, but wow. he's for the birth uh four years. Okay. In January he he is we, turning. He's turning. Yeah. He's turning four uh, in January. Wow. So it means you're going to have a party, right? To celebrate Lucas' life. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Let's see. I have more students now. That means, you know, uh, we have to start with the session. Don't worry, Dina. I know that you are on your way home. Yes. If you are driving keep uh you know track on your driving if you are on the uh i mean on the bus right so keep the camera off and no problem but the ones who are at home activate your cameras everybody please the ones who are at home oh dina is there okay let's see i'm going to show you my powerpoint presentation that contains you know the class the class, the class objective, and also the agenda. Okay, that's very important for you to know. And as I as I mentioned yesterday, we are going to continue with the topic about family, but we are going to add something else to this topic. You will see right now um, in the objective. Okay, let's see. Um, I need Jeldy to help me with the class objective. What is the class objective for class number seven, JLD? Okay. <clears throat> My family, a class objective at the end of the election participants will be able, able to describe family members. Aha, uh -huh. okay. At the end of the lesson, participants will be able to describe, listen to this, this word, describe, not to mention, Okay, in this lesson, you will describe your family members and in a very specific, you know, a way. We are going to learn how to describe people physically, you know. We're not going to be talking too much about the personality, you know, of your family members, but we are going to concentrate on how they look. Yes, and in a way, you are going to tell me how you look in English, okay? So that's the idea of today's class. You know, physical appearance is going to be the main focus of this lesson. So here we go to the warm-up activity. In order, guys, for us to describe how we look or, or physical appearance, we need to remember the vocabulary about the parts of the body, okay? You are going to um, remember the time when you were singing at school, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay? Because I have to present to you what is going to be my warm-up activity, okay? So here we go. And this is the one, parts of the body, okay? You have to match, okay? This is a matching activity. You have to match the parts of the body that are hidden. Okay, they are hidden here. So all the cards are going to be mixed and then you tell me, okay? Um, Jose Marvin, we have three lines. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three, right? And we have mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, and E. So mention, please, two different cards. You want line number one, line number two, or line number three? Okay. Uh, letter A of the line 
uh, the first line. Okay. A. Arms. Okay, I need you, Jose Marvin, to find the other the other card that contains either the picture or the other word related to this one. Arms. Give me another one. Uh, well, the second line, mm -hmm. the letter D. A, B, C, D. Okay, this one. <gasps> Arms. No. Yeah. No. Hands is you know, part of the of the arm, but it's another part of the body. Okay, so now let's see, Rubidia, give me two. Um, the line two, uh -huh. uh, letter E. E, okay, here's the one, body. Okay, I need you to find the picture that represents the body. Um, line three and letter C. Letter C. Body? Oh, oh, oh no. Ephraim. Go ahead, Ephraim. Um, letter C. Uh huh. Line one, two, or three. Line one. One. C. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There you have it. <laughs> and like two. Oh, I, I forgot the letter. <laughs> oh, you forgot the letter. Huh? Who can help mm. Efrain? Who wants to mm. help Efrain? Last, last one card in line two. The last one. Okay, the last yes. card in line two. No, that's yes. feet. But we have another one, people. We have another Me one. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And first line? Yes. First, first line, C. C. Okay. Uh -huh. Second line, E. E. A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah, you got the first one. Finally, guys. Finally. Very good, Ana Rebecca. Okay, another person. Another person from the class that is ready to make a pair, a match. A matching, matching. Me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> go ahead. Second line. Second line. Yeah. F. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, feet. Third line. Uh huh. B. First line. No. Third. Ah, third line, third line. Third line, third line, B. B. No, it was no. not B. It was no. not B. Okay, it's... Margarita, Margarita, Genesis. Okay, second line. Uh-huh. F. F, very good, fit. And third line, uh, C. C. Yeah, yeah, uh, fit. Well, it, it is not fit, not fit, okay, not fit, because it, it, it is showing another part, another part, okay, it could be legs, maybe, because mm -hmm. it has the other part, right? But you were close, Margarita, you were very close. Aha, uh -huh. let's see, um, Alexander, Elmer Alexander. Um, second line, uh, B. Legs, aha. Uh -huh. And the last line. Yes. D. D. A, B, C, D. Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Okay, anyone? Dina, maybe? I know Dina has one. Uh... One line. Uh huh. Line one. Uh, letter. Letter C. C. C was taken. So we oh, have only D. A, B, D, D, and E. D. Okay. Mm. Hands. Mm. <gasps> hands. Where is the other that has hands? Anyone? Uh. Line second. 
the second one, uh -huh. A, B, C, D, or F? F. F. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me show you people. I'm going to uncover some, just yes. to give you a clue. Here mm -hmm. we have this, here we have this. Right? No. No, but it's first line. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. The first line, E. E? Yes. And second line, line, sorry, E O E two. A, B, C, D, E. No, because it e, was sorry, D. 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 Okay, A, B, C, D. Uh-huh. J, uh, it is hands, right? Hands, it's a, it's, it's okay. Teacher. Emily. Uh, later. Line. First line. Yes. And the B. B. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and the second line, E. E. E, no, because it's taken. F, uh, sorry. F. 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 <laughs> Yes, now that's the one, feet. You know, in the other picture, pay attention to the other things we have on our hands. We have fingers. We have to look for that word too. Aha. Let me see another person. Another person, maybe Janet, Evelyn Janet. Um, a? A. Head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first line. E. Okay. No, no. Let me see Jose Jonathan. Quickly, people, because this is taking too much time. Let's go. With this very quick. The second line, letter B and letter A. Is D. Which line? One, two, or three? Second. The second, the second line. D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mm -mm. In here is fingers, no hands, okay? Fingers mm -hmm. is the one. So let's try. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. The first line, the line first is the last cube, the uh -huh. last card. The last card, okay. Those. And then? <laughs> what is the, the other part? The other card that has toes, the picture. The last line. Uh-huh. Here is the dilemma. Here's the dilemma. Ha. Huh? A, B, C, D, or E? D. A, B, C, and D. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Listen, here. Okay. What is this? Toes, right? Toes. This is the one. That is the one. Okay, I'm going to help you because this is going to take ages. What about here? Legs. What is the other car that has legs, people? Third line. The third line? Let me put the sentence. D? C. A, B, D. C. Ah, D. K. No. Oh, my God. Listen, Teacher, listen. The color, I finger, fingers. Okay. Fingers. Uh -huh. So, in yeah. here, this is fingers, right? Fingers. I'm going to help you because otherwise this, this is going to take too much time. Legs. What is the word? I mean, the picture for the word legs. C, the second. Letter, letter C, the second line. Okay, see the second one. Yeah, wonderful. Memory match, right? Memory match. And now let's check this one. Ha! Ah, what is the word hands? The first line? No, second. Huh? A, A, B, C, D, creo que. This one. The, uh, yeah. Hands. Excellent, excellent. Very good. And now let's check the mm -hmm. others. 
We have here head. And uh, where is head? The first, no, the second, the first. Second. Okay, the second A, right? No. No, the, 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 the first. The first, because you said the second, second one. A. And arms, and you was not head, arms? Name. No. Okay. Head, right? Head is here. This is head, you know, they work together. And obviously, the others are the remaining ones, right? So it was <gasps> finally, people, finally we are here, you know? Okay, so that was just for you to remember some parts of the body. And to describe the parts of the body, we need some specific vocabulary. Let me show you. We have physical adjectives, okay? An adjective, guys, is a word. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun, you know? This is the definition of an adjective. An adjective describes, comma, um, modifies or gives extra information about a noun or the subject of the sentence, okay? So that is the function of an adjective. So if I say, for example, Genesis is intelligent. So what, what is the adjective in that sentence? The word intelligent, right? Because it is giving me extra information about who? Genesis, right? So I'm saying something about her. But in that case, intelligent is not a physical adjective. That is an adjective that talks about a... You know, the mental capacity of the person, right? But in this case, we're going to focus on the physical ones, okay? So we are going to say if the person is beautiful, good looking, uh, not good looking, right? We are going to learn the polite way to describe a person. Okay, uh, there are some adjectives in English that are rude. And we don't want to be rude at the time we describe someone. Let's match here the opposite, people. We have some adjectives on the numbers and also on the letters, right? So let's match them. Tell me, what is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Ugly. Okay, ugly is a polite word or impolite? Impolite. Impolite, right? What could be the polite way? Mm -hmm. It could be like mm, not good looking. Yes, not good looking. Okay, that could be the, the polite. Yes, or we can say also plain. Yes, we can say plain. Ah, she, she's a plain, a plain girl, right? Plain means that the person is not physically attractive, okay? Now, what is the opposite of fat? Thin. thin. Okay, the thin. opposite of fat is uh, thin. Is fat a polite adjective? Or impolite? Polite. No, it's impolite, no. it's rude. You know, it's a rude adjective. If you say someone is fat, it sounds very tough. So it's better if you say, for example, plum or overweight, okay? Or heavy also. But fat is uh, an impolite adjective. It's very rude to say that. What is the, the opposite of a strong? Weak. Okay, weak. the opposite of a strong is weak, right? What is the opposite of old? Young. Young. Oh, young. pronunciation people is young. 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 Young, young, young. Not John, because John is the, the noun, okay? The name of a man. Ah, his name is John. Okay, but in this one, 
here the pronunciation is nasal sound. If you, you know, put your fingers on your nose and you try to close your nose like this, and you and you say young, it's a nasal, nasal sound. So you say young, young, young. I'm young, you're old, right? And obviously the opposite of tall is short. Short. Short, short. right? Short. short. I am sure all of you know a person that is beautiful, a person that is um not that beautiful or plain. All of you know a person that is tall short, thin, weak, or strong, yes? But we are going to try to look for people in our family who look like this, okay? So keep in mind the vocabulary because you will use uh, this later for the descriptions, okay? So check them, keep them in mind because you will need them. Let's move. What do you think about these people? What can you tell me? about this lady what adjectives would you give to her she is beautiful okay she's beautiful what is her name by the way megan fox ah megan fox is she a singer or what is her occupation an actress ah she is an actress okay very good where is she from Where is she from? From El Salvador? From Guatemala? From Puerto Rico? Ah, United States. Very good, Lucy. Okay, what can you tell me besides the adjective beautiful? What other adjective can you use to describe her physically? Is she sexy, for example? Yeah. Yeah, right. What about her she, hair? She is smile, my smiler, no? Smiley, uh -huh. she's smiley, very good. Now, what can you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, about this guy? Oh, who's he? Who is he? Adam Sandler. Ah, this is Adam Sandler. Is Adam Sandler good looking or not that good looking? Not that good looking. Not that good looking, right? Maybe we can say that he's like the opposite of her, right? But this is a very intelligent person, right? He is a producer, he is an actor, and he is a little overweight. Yes? He's shabby, right? He's not fat, but shabby, okay? So we are going to learn vocabulary on how to describe these people, you know, a little bit more, um, uh, like, complete, Okay, so let's change PowerPoint presentation because I have an extra one. And I need you to take notes. Take notes, people. In this case, I need ah. you to be with your with your notebook taking notes. Listen, when someone says, ah. or when someone asks you, what do they look like? Or what do you look like? You immediately need to know that what you have to provide is a physical description, okay? Because we can have another question like this one. What are you like? But this question refers to personality. This one refers to physical appearance, okay? So pay attention to this one. What do they look like? Know what are you like, okay? Or what do you, uh, what is she like, okay? Because this one talks about a personality and not about a physical appearance. Okay, pay attention. Oh, wait. Here we have this one. If you're gonna talk about the height, the height of a person, you can say the person is tall or you can say the person is medium height Yes, or short. Tall, medium height, or short. This is talking about the height of a person. Okay, you can specify if the person is two meters tall or if the person is one in one meter and 70 centimeters. That is medium height. And if the person is one meter and 
60 centimeters, that person is short. So generally, Salvadorian people are short, you know, not that tall. This is in terms of height. Now, these are the adjectives, okay? What happens if we talk about weight? Ah, we can say the person is plum, like her, yes? Another word that we have for plum, we can say also shabby, okay? Shabby. That means... Um, in Spanish, eh, rellenito, okay, or rellenita, shabby. So we have to find a word that clearly describes the weight of the person, okay? So plum, shabby, and then we have overweight, right? Okay, what about this one? This person, this person is thin. Right? Another synonym for team could be um, slim. If the person exercises, you can say he or she is slim. All right? So we have the two uh, scenarios, a plump person and a thin person or a slim, right? So let's move. Let's move to the next slide. And it's about the hair. The hair can be described as straight, curly, yes, straight, curly, wavy, okay, wavy, and also spiky. Yes, you sometimes, uh, I mean, maybe in this moment you are like, <gasps> If I have to describe my hair, what word should I use? Well, in my case, I have wavy hair. Uh, Dina can say, for example, I have a straight hair. Sure. Yes, and maybe there are other students who can say, I have spiky hair, sure. especially the boys, okay? Boys. Now, let's see. The length of the hair. Oh, you can say if a person is bald, right? If a person has, listen to this, has, no is, has short hair, okay? If a person has shoulder length hair, okay? Shoulder length hair. And also, if the person has long hair. So if we talk about the length, we say the description with the verb has, right? But not this one. In this one, you say she is bald or he is bald. But in this one, ah, she has short hair. She has shoulder length hair and she has long hair. Okay, let's move to the next. What about the color of the hair? We can say fair hair or blonde. Okay, blonde or fair hair. Blonde hair, brown, brown hair, like this one. Yes, it could be natural or, or dyed, okay? And here is dark or black, right? And in this one is red. Uh, we have to mention that about colors, we can have all the colors nowadays. There, there are some people who dye their hairs in color pink, for example, or green or purple. So we can have all the colors, but those colors are not natural, right? So if the colors are not natural, we can say that that person dyes the hair, right? Or she or he has dyed hair, okay? Let's move here to the styles. The styles, people, uh, can be the next ones. We have the pigtails, right? The pigtails. We have the bun style. We have the plate. Fringe, okay? And also the ponytail. Ponytail, you know, I love ponytail. Some people love uh, plates, 
some others love buns, right? And this is styles, hairstyles. Now, we can talk about other features, you know, other features. For example, you can talk about the shape of the, of the face and you can say round, round face. She has a round face. He has a round face, right? Then you can say, for example, she has an oval, oval face, okay? The shape of the face. And other features could be also the freckles, you know? Freckles, all the little spots some people have on their face are called freckles. These are the freckles, you know? Do you have freckles? I do, I have many, you know? And, and also a lot of uh, um, moles. I'm going to write here extra ones. Extra features or extra characteristics. I can mention this one, a um, beauty spot or mole. Mole is similar in meaning to beauty spots. It's one way to say lunares, right? Beauty spots or mole. Another feature could be a uh, dimple. You know, some people have dimples, one or two, right? You know, it's like a, a, a little hole on your cheeks. That is called dimples. Tamanance, right? That's a dimple. And you can mention also another feature that has to do with pimples. You know, pimples ha has to do with acne. You know, with acne, especially when you are a teenager. Ah, oh, you have a lot of pimples if you eat, for example, greasy food. Yes, that is called pimples. Yes. So if you describe a person, you can also mention these features. Yes. Ah, she has a, a dimple. Oh, is the guy who has a pimples on his face, right? So these are extra, extra things. Okay, let's move to the next one. Question so far? Or so far so good with the vocabulary? No questions. Pronunciation? Yes. Tell uh, me. I freckles. I... Freckles. Yeah. Um, pecas. You know, ah. those are, okay. you know, the little spots that you have on your face sometimes. Freckles. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Pecas. This happens to, for example, people with reddish hair. Yeah. People with reddish hair, natural reddish hair, so they have a, a lot of freckles, you know? They are like, like, like that. Yes, okay, let's move. If you don't have more questions, I can show you the other, you know? Let's talk about the eyes. You can say the person has big eyes, right? Is this one? Small eyes, right? And the color, hazel. Hazel color is this one, you know? Green, not common, but some people have green eyes. Blue eyes, and also gray. Or you can say brown in other colors because, for example, my eyes are, are uh, brown, right? And some people have honey, honey eyes. Right? Color miel, you say, right? So that is honey eyes. These are the, the styles or, or the or or the size and also the color of the eyes. So you can say also if a person is pretty or if a person is cute, but cute is more for let's say kids. Or if we want to be like like sweet when describing a person, okay? Ah, oh, that, that lady, that, that that girl is pretty, or that boy is cute. So it's more like sweet, you know, sweet words to describe a person. Okay. 
No questions. We can move now to a little practice. Okay, so let's see how much you have learned. Remember, look at the following pictures and describe them in terms of height, build, face, hair, style, the eyes, right, etc. So, what can you tell me about this? This a uh, girl. What can you tell me? Is she tall or short? Short. Ah, okay. So you can tell me she is? She's short. She is short. Okay. She has my hair. She has long hair. Ah, she has, listen, she has long hair. Very good. What else? She she has pig pig tail pig tail. Ah, she she has pig tails. Mm -hmm. She has. Uh, there, no. She it's has fine face. Is oval. Ah. She has fine oval. She has oval, oval face. Face. Face, right? She has she oval has face. Little eyes. She's blonde. Ah, she, yes. she has a big tie. Ah, the big tails are here. But what did you say, Alexander? Emma? Little eyes. Ah, small, small eyes. She oh. has a small eyes very good and she, she is blonde has she, she has, is... she has blonde Ay. hair aha uh -huh. she has blonde hair she has blonde yeah. hair yeah. excellent look i need you to pay attention that not yeah. all the time you're going to use the verb to be you have to yeah. use also yeah. the verb has yes yeah. for example if you're gonna talk about the skin color, what is her skin color? White. Ah, you can say she has fair skin. Piel clara, okay? Just to avoid saying white or, or dark, okay? You can say she has fair skin. Yes, meaning that she is white, right? Excellent. Okay, now let's try with the next one. Let's try with the next one. I'm going to erase this because I will present another picture. What can you tell me about her? What she person? is short. Okay, she's short. She has a bun. Uh -huh, she has a bun. Yes, the hairstyle. What color is her hair? She has brown. She has brown mm -hmm. hair. Uh -huh. She has brown hair. And her eyes? Big eyes. She has Are big, gray. big gray eyes. Eyes. Uh -huh. yeah. Gray eyes. Big gray eyes. Okay. What about uh, her skin color? Is she ah? Well, we can say that she has olive, you know, olive skin. Yes, she has olive skin. Trigueña, right? Piel trigueña. She has olive skin. All right. Okay, let's move to the next one. What can you tell me about this? Girl. She has long hair. Repeat that, please. She has long hair. She has long hair. Long hair. She, has she has a hair. She has ace blue. She has blue eyes. Ah, she has blue eyes. Big eyes. 
Blue eyes. Her eyes. You can say like this. Her eyes are big. Her eyes are big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big and beautiful. And what about her her hair? Is it straight, curly, or wavy? Wavy. wavy. Ah, so wavy. You, can, you can say she has, she has wavy hair. Wavy hair. She has wavy hair. And also, uh -huh. he, he has a uh, Ah, fair. Or light. Light her. She has. Like, what do you mean? A blonde. Uh, I don't know. Claro, cabello claro. Ah, you can say also. Blonde. Blonde hair or fair or hair. And and she has a, a small mouth. Uh-huh. And she has a small mouth. A small mouth. Very good. She's cute, right? Pretty. Very yeah. good. Excellent. Okay. So having this in mind, people, I'm going to go back to uh, my main presentation. I'm going to send this presentation to WhatsApp, okay? Just in case you didn't have uh, the chance to write notes, to take notes. Um, Let me show you something here. Okay. When we describe, oui, sorry, when we describe in terms of physical appearance you know the language for physical descriptions in english is quite specific depending on the physical characteristics you are a uh, like like describing in this case right when giving physical descriptions the two most common verbs are a um, be and have however they are quite specific we use B for height, weight, and skin color, okay? And we have to use have for the hair length, the hairstyle, the hair color, and facial features. Like the examples I provide here. Chris is medium height. What verb are we using? The verb to be, yes? Uh, Tanya has blonde hair. We are talking about the color of the hair. So we are using the verb have, right? Albert is overweight. What are we talking about here? We are talking about the weight, yes, weight. Donna has curly hair and is tanned, is tanned. What can we say about this? We are talking about the skin color. Yes, bronceada, it's tanned. And then Patrick has a long beard, okay, beard. And he also has a black eye right now. Black eye means un moretón, okay? puñetazo en el ojo black eye no not that the eye is the is is black okay and here tony is tall and has medium length hair so remember the verb to be goes for height weight and skin color and the verb have or has in third person goes for length of the hair the style of the hair the hair color and also the facial uh, features or facial characteristics. Yes? Tráeme el pantalón que está allá por el microondas. Okay, so let's move. I need you now, guys, to help me classify. Classify these adjectives, you know, and put them in the correct category. Remember that some words can go in more than one category. What are the words that go with the hair, for example? Curly. 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 Uh-huh. 
straight. Straight. Very good. Hey. Dark. Hairy. Uh -huh. uh, mm, What's the no. meaning? What's the meaning? Hairy? hairy is when you have little little hairs on the whole body. You know, like on your on your arms. Peludito, velludito, decimos nosotros en español. So it's like hairy. Okay. Dark. Ha dark hair. Yes, we can use it here. Wavy. Uh huh. Wavy. Okay. Let me write them. I'm going to write them. Repeat them again, please, because I was not taking notes. We can say curly, right, for the hair. Curly. Dark. Dark. Wavy. Uh-huh, wavy. Straight. Straight. Straight, uh-huh, straight. And there is one more. You can say dyed. Yeah, when you want to specify that that's not a natural color. Teñido decimos en español, right? Ah, tiene pelo teñido, yes? So, dyed hair, okay? You don't say, for example, I'm going to paint my hair with a different color, teacher. Paint? No, because you won't use painting, you know? You won't use a brush and say paint. It's dye. The word is dye my hair. Okay, to put another color. What about the body? How can you describe the body with these adjectives? Curvy. Curvy, Curvy. excellent. Mm -hmm. Hairy, uh-huh, hairy. Overweight. Thin. Ah, yes, overweight. Thin. Which one? Thin. 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 Well built. Well built, yeah. Any other? No, right? What about the skin? Pale. Uh huh, pale. Tan. Hand. Yeah, hand. Uh huh. Any other class? Don't fall asleep. Don't leave me. Mm -hmm. Only that one. What about the face? Ah, here we are missing also dark. You can say she has dark skin. He has dark skin. To avoid saying black, okay? Because black can be uh, a derogative word, okay? It's not uh, polite. It would be like, like kind of racist to say, ah, you are black or you have black skin. No, you don't have to say. You have to say dark, yes, or Afro-American, like that. Face, what about face, people? What adjectives? Oval. Oval, uh-huh. Ginger. 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 Ginger is a color. A color. Uh-huh. So can we say that the person has a ginger face? No, right? Maybe ginger is here, you know, in, in the section that we have here. Ginger. Right? So oval, spotty maybe? Spotty with a lot of spots? Yes. Spotty? I have a lot of spots, you know? Here it is not evident, but I have many on the whole body and a lot of freckles. So what else? Pretty. Pretty. Uh-huh, pretty. A pretty face. 
And that's it, right? Only these ones. Only these ones. Very good. So take notes. You need to have the the the, the table like this. Okay, hair curly, dark, wavy, straight, dyed, and ginger. Body curvy, hairy, uh, overweight, thin, and well built. Skin pale, tanned, and dark. And face oval, spotty, and pretty. All right. Having this in mind, we are going to continue. Okay. So a lot of vocabulary today, class. A lot of vocabulary that you need to memorize. There is no other way to learn um, things in English but by memorizing them, okay? So let's take a look at this picture. The instruction says, look at the pictures, choose the correct words to complete the text. I need a volunteer to help me. Caesar, thank you very much, Caesar. Activate your microphone yes, yes. and tell me. Read and select the best option. Okay. The girl in the left picture is pretty. Uh -huh. Her hair. Wait, 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 take it easy, take it easy. I have to, I have to uh, circle the word. The girl, right? The girl in the left picture is pretty, you say. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, continue. Okay, um, her hair is wavy. Her hair is wavy. Are you in an agreement class that her hair is wavy? No, it's strange. Ah, her hair is straight. Straight, Caesar. Yeah, wavy is like, you know, not curly and not straight. It's <laughs> okay. And what about here? Blonde or okay. ginger? Blonde. Blonde. Blonde, right? Blonde. She has blonde hair. Uh, long or shoulder length? Shoulder length. Shoulder length. Shoulder length. Shoulder length. Excellent. And she's got pale or dark skin? Pale. Pale. Okay, fantastic. And the last one, and a round or a sporty face? Round. Uh, round. Round. Okay, and she has a round face. Very good. Now, let's see. I need another person, Lucy. I need you to help me, Lucy, with the next one. So take a look at the, the description. You know, you have to pay attention that the adjective goes before the noun that is being described. Okay, so the position is very important. Lucy, describe this man, please. The man on the right looks um, sl slim. Uh -huh. Just wait, wait a moment because you have moratayaclavel23 at gmail.com as a user. And you are Lucy. Give me your whole yes. name. Mm -hmm. Give me your whole name, Lucy, please. Your last names? Moratayaclavel. Moratayaclavel, right? Your two names? Uh, Lucy Margarita. Lucy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Lucy, tell me, the man on the right looks slim. Slim, uh huh. Very good. Slim. Okay. His skin is tan or pale. Pale. Hmm. He has a round or a mobile face? Lucy? Lucy is frozen right now. So who can help? Se me congeló Lucy. Okay, so who? Molina, Sara, please continue.
Ya volvió Lucy. Ah, Lucy is back. But you, Sarita, please help me, help me. Ok. Um, ¿Por dónde iba? En la... He en face. Has, uh -huh, face. An oval face. An oval face, ok. I, wait, wait, wait. He has an oval face. Ajá. Uh -huh. And he is clean shaven or has a beard? Clean shaven? Ah, uh -huh. he is clean shaven. His hair, talk about his hair. Is shaven or medium length? His hair is medium length. Ah, uh -huh. medium length. According to a man, okay, not a woman. And gray or dyed? Is gray. Gray. Excellent. Very good. Here are some tricky words, you know. Let's see. Uh, Jonathan, Jose Jonathan, how do you pronounce this word? Beer. Ah, that is beer. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Beer. Mm, no. Oh. And how mm. do you pronounce this word? I don't know, did you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> they are called like homophones, okay? Because they are very similar in 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 the pronunciation. These are very popular in English. Listen to the pronunciation. This one is beer, the drink, okay? Beer, I I, I want to drink a, a, a beer, okay? Now let's pay attention to the second one is beard, beard with the D sound at the end, the, the beard, 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 okay? And it means barba, okay? So don't tell me I want to I want to drink a beard. No, because that's impossible. You can drink a beer, but you can have a beard. And then this one is bear. Okay? Beer, beard, bear. Bear, beard, beer. Is that all right? <laughs> now, Jonathan, tell me. Beer, beard, uh -huh. in beer. Bear. Bear. Bear, uh huh, like mm -hmm. a bear hog, right? Evelyn, uh, I have a question. Um, how do you, uh, uh, ¿cómo se pronunciaría pájaro? Bird. Ah, that is bird. Bird. Teacher. Yes. Bird. Um, bird. Yes. Lucy, and... Lucy me llamó mm -hmm. y me dijo de que se le fue la luz. <gasps> That's why she was like frozen. Okay. I got it. Thank you for informing, okay? Thank you for letting me know. I will take notes about that. Tell Lucy that there's no problem, that I totally understand. You know, that happens. That can happen to me too. Okay, so these are very similar words in pronunciation. So make sure your pronunciation is the correct one, okay? Beer, beard, bear, bird, bird, right? So check it out, people. English is tricky sometimes. Okay, next exercise. I need you to do what I will present to you here. Listen and answer the questions, okay? We are going to listen to a description, okay? And you have to select the best option, the best answer according to the description. This is talking about the family. I'm going to leave the, the, the script here, okay? I'm going to leave the script so everybody can watch it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here, we, here we go, here we go. Thank you. John, I've never met your family. Do you have a big family? Yeah, kind of. 
there are five people in my family. Oh. So it's a medium family. I have two brothers, so there are three boys in my oh. family. And there's my mother and my father. How about your father? Do you look like him? Yes, I do. I do look like my father. When he was younger, he had blonde hair, like me. And he has glasses. So do I. My mother has glasses, too. Hmm. I'm the same height as my father. We are both 180 centimeters tall. Oh. My older brother is the same height as me and my father. But my younger brother is shorter than us. He has blonde hair and glasses, too, though. Oh, how tall is your younger brother? He's a bit shorter than us. I'm not sure, but I think he's around 170 centimeters tall. Oh, how about your mom? My mom is short, too. She is the same height as my younger brother. Oh. And my mom has red hair. Her hair is bright red, so my mother has different hair from the rest of my family. There are four people with blonde hair and one person with red hair. But actually, all five of us wear glasses. Oh, really? Yeah. So, John, you're thin. What about the rest of your family? Are they thin, too? Well... My mother is skinny, too, like me, but my brothers are more like my dad in their body type. They are a little bit more muscular than oh. me. They have big muscles, and they're very strong, so they are heavier than me. That's my father. He weighs more than I do, and my brothers are also heavier than me. Oh, Sounds like a good-looking family. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a good-looking family. Okay, let's check the quiz, people. Number one, he is the same height as his mother, father, or brother? Mother. <laughs> mother? Is everybody in an agreement? Do you agree or disagree? Oh, I don't know, teacher. Father. Father. Be younger. Oh, father, right? Okay, let's check the script. Yeah, he says, I do look like my father, right? So he says like 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 he has the same height. Yeah, here. My older brother is the same height as me and my father. So father, right? Not not the mother, the father. Number two, his mom is as tall as his older brother, younger brother, or father? Younger, younger brother. Younger brother. Younger brother. Okay. Number three, his mom has red, brown, or blonde hair? Red. 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 Right? Number four, his mom is thin, medium bill, a little heavy. Thin. 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 Uh, number five. He says his father has glasses, big muscles, or a mustache? A mustache. Big. Big. Big muscles. Big muscles. Big muscles. Okay, let's check the answers. Let's check the answers. Ta -ta -ta -ta. All of them are correct, class. Wonderful. Very good. Listeners and readers, okay? Because you were reading exactly what was being said. Excellent. Now, let's see what is in the class. You have to practice describing, you know, a, someone. In this case, this is going to be individual. I'm going to send a link. And you have to describe the person that appears there, okay? Or if there are more than one, you have to use the adjectives. Okay, so uh, there's a link 
on the chat, you know, the chat room here, Zoom. Efrain, let's see. Yeah, there is one. And I will also send the, the link to WhatsApp, okay? Just in case you, you have like more chances there. It's individual. Remember that you have to send evidence of your uh, work by taking a picture, okay? The screenshot is important. So go there, go there. Go to the link or click on the link and then they, there is going to be a page with some exercises about physical description. The question is, what do they look like? Read and complete the description. Use the correct words from the box. There's Rihanna, Ed Shira, and uh, Jackie Chan. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone's writing on my screen, on my on my board. My name is Rihanna. I am a... work individually, please.
When you have the exercise ready, send the evidence to WhatsApp. You know, take a picture of the result. Some people are writing here, but you're not supposed to write on the screen. You're supposed to click on the link. <laughs> Click on the link and work individually. This is individual work. But let's check what you have. My name is Rihanna. I'm slim and, and black skinned. Uh, I have hmm, brown curly hair. And I have thick red lips. I'm a singer in the U.S. Only, listen, I have to tell you that only a, a person that has dark skin can call herself or himself black, okay? Otherwise, it is very racist, okay? So there is other, other words that are even more like, like hard to say, right? Like nigga, for example, but black is is still too tough yeah you can say dark skin okay no not black okay let's see let's see here you you're just supposed to draw you know i am slim yes and black skin you have to draw the words i have um Hmm. I have curly. I see Rihanna's hair is black, you know? So I wouldn't say that she is black in, in, in terms of skin. So I have curly. And then you say black hair, brown skinned, thick red lips. My name is Ed Sharon. I'm I'm what? I'm young. What do you think? So I'm mm -hmm. difficult or not difficult, people? <laughs> Carlito says yes. I have to give you a clue, you know, the order of the adjectives. The adjectives have an order. When you have more than one adjective in a sentence, that is going to be tomorrow's class, but I will mention it. You need to follow an order. First, you have to mention the shape and then the color, okay? First, the shape and then the color. <laughs> Yes. I have a question. It's strange. What is strange? Liso. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Straight. Let's see. I have I have one picture. No, there's no there's no picture yet. Ah, you have to send it to the group, okay? To the group, not to my personal number to WhatsApp group, you know, or group in, in WhatsApp, please. Because there, uh, there's the evidence for me and for the coordinators of the group.
Hurry up, please. Hurry, hurry. What can you say about Jackie Chan, guys? My name is Jackie Chan. I'm 66 years old. So I'm, I'm old and an average height. I have, oh, there's a one, there's a one. I have a stray hair, stray black hair. I don't have a mustache. I have a, let's see, I have a square face. And I have round, big nose. I am an actor. Ducky Chan. A big round. Big round. Yes? Me dice que no puedo tomar captura debido a la política. Really? Sí. No sé por qué. Are you completing this with uh, your cell phone or with the computer? Cell phone. Hmm. That's a strange. A screenshot? No? No possible? Yeah, sí, screenshot. No. Oh. Really? No sé por qué. Let, let, I will try to do it myself with the computer and I will check. No, I take it like with no, no problem. So if you cannot take the picture, don't worry. Don't worry. This is just, you know, an exercise, not an eval not evaluated. Okay. Well, I evaluate everything actually, but, but this is not going to be taken. Okay, so let's see, guys, what I got here. Mm -hmm. That's very good, Caesar. Nine out of out of ten. You were supposed to write. My name is Ed Sheeran. I'm uh, I'm white. I'm white. I'm twenty nine years old, so I'm young. Okay, it's the opposite there. Um, then Fernanda Medrano, Jackie Chance, all of the options are not correct. And let's see, well, about Rihanna, okay, not bad, not bad. Elmer, thank you, very good, Elmer. Now let's see, Sarah, nice, thank you guys, thank you. I'm checking your work and you did a very good job. Now let's see, ah. Difficult, says Alejandra, with Ed Shira. <laughs> a little, but practice makes perfect. You know, practice makes perfect. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind all the time. Okay, let's continue, class. Let's continue. Uh, and you have another description here, okay? Let's listen. Let's listen and complete this, okay? Help me with the... Uh, with this fill in the blanks exercise, there are three dialogues. We are going to go one by one, okay? This is dialogue number one. The, the words you need to complete the dialogue are these ones, the ones at the bottom, okay? This one, the ones at the bottom. And the listening is like this, okay? What does your boss look like, John? She has dark hair and wears glasses. How old is she? She's in her 30s, I think. Simple description, very short, okay? You don't have to go like in details all the time. Now tell me, um, what phrase do I need here to complete the first blank space? Look like. Mm -hmm. Look like, right? So what does your boss look like, John? And what is the answer? She has dark hair and wears glasses. Um, repeat. Repeat that, Ruby. Dale volumen a tus películas. <laughs> Ajá, Ruby. She has dark hair, hair and... Ah. Ajá, look at the pronunciation. 
pronunciation here, um, Ruby. Look at my mouth also. Look here. Sube el volumen. Here. Say. But the microphone. I don't. I don't. Hey. Hair. 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 Look, there is a difference between hair. her, her, and the other is hair. hair. So this is hair, hair, hair. My, you can you can say my hair, yeah, my hair, hair, hair. Right? Okay. <laughs> and yeah. now, Ruby, how do you pronounce this? Uh huh. Tell me. He hair is long. Wait, 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 wait. There's a there's a typo. Uh huh. Now. Her hair is long. Uh, uh uh Her hair. Her hair is long. Her hair is long. Her hair. Her hair. Her hair. <laughs> Practice a little bit more. Look at the first one. The first one is her. 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 Ah, uh -huh. her. Her hair. Her hair is long. Her hair is long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Let's see another person, Sara. Let's see. Let's try. Read it. Sarita? Her hair is long. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Your lips, Sari. You need, you need to put your lips like, a, like this, okay? Her hair is long. Her hair is long. Say <laughs> Her hair is long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't 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 be shy and don't uh, don't stop practicing. It's not her. It's her. Okay, her. Put the lips together like like a like if you are going to pronounce an O, right? I know. Oh, but instead of saying O, you say her, her, right? <laughs> Let's see, Jose Marvin. Pronounce it, please. Read the sentence. Ah, me vio que estaba. Ajá, ajá. Well, hair, hair is long. Say it again. Hair, hair. Hair, hair is long. Okay, you say her, her. Now, it's her hair. Her hair. Her hair. <laughs> it's it long. In this one, in on the second, this the second one is like hair, you know, hair, hair, hair. It goes like to one side. Your mouth goes to one side. Her hair, her hair, right? Hair, her hair. <laughs> okay, that's okay, people. Hair. You know, we hair. have to hair. we have to continue <laughs> practicing. Okay, so practice makes perfect. What I want to state here is that we have some similar words in English. And we have to be careful with the pronunciation, okay? It's like her for the possessive adjective, okay? Her, her name, her name, her, her job, yes? Her house, her bag, etc. And the other is the part of the body, hair, right? My hair, your hair, okay? Her hair, <laughs> etc., etc., okay? Now, let's move to the, to the other... Um, dialogue before we run out of time okay so let's see um the second dialogue what? this one listen please can you describe your teacher tom well he has a mustache and a beard does he wear glasses no he doesn't in fact, he sees everything. In fact, he sees everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, how would how would you complete the conversation? Tell me what goes first. Describe. describe. Ah, the first describe. one is describe, right? Can you describe your teacher, Tom? Well, he has a mustache. Ah, mustache. he has a mustache. <laughs> mustache. Stressed on the first syllable. Mustache, right? Mustache, no, mustache. And mustache. the and the other, does he wear Lace. does he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? And he says, No, he doesn't. In fact, 
he sees everything, right? De hecho, mira todo, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá. In fact, he sees everything. So he doesn't need glasses <laughs> because he has good, good sight. Okay, let me see. The third, the third, the third one. The third dialogue. Here we go. Can you describe? This one. Pay attention. Tell me about your new friend, Tom. You mean his appearance? Yeah. What does he look like? He's got short brown hair and he has a nice smile. Okay. And he has brown eyes. Good. Tell me, what are the compliments of the conversation? Um, appearance. 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 Appearance, right? The first, appearance. the first one has to be appearance. So tell me your uh tell me about your new friend, Tom. You mean his appearance, 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 appearance. Yeah, what does he look like? He's got short brown hair and he has a nice, nice smile. smile. Nice smile, oh. smile, right? A nice smile, and he has brown brown no. eyes brown eyes okay this conversation um let me see claudia you are going to do the dad's part and uh brenda you are going to do tom's part action ladies claudia and brenda claudia is the dad and brenda is tom in the conversation Tell me about your new friend, Tom. Brenda Yamile? Escucha. Yes, now. I, mm -hmm. Now I okay. can, I can okay. hear you. Uh, you mean he's... Um, you mean his appearance? Appearance. You mean appearance. his appearance? Okay. You appearance. mean his appearance? Yeah, what does he look like? Uh, he's got a short brown hair and, and he has a he has a broad broad eyes and he has nice smile. Okay, let me help you with pronunciation. Look, appearance is stressed on the second syllable, three syllables. A a appearance, appearance, appearance. Okay, appearance. appearance. That's the pronunciation of this word. Okay, now let's check. Carlos Cesar, you are the dad. And um, let me see who has not. Dora, you are going to be Tom. Doris, no, Dora, okay? Because I have another one whose name is Doris. Carlos Cesar, okay. action. Okay. Uh, tell me about your new friend, Tom. Dora Esmeralda Vasquez rolling. Are you there? Can you hear us? Doris is snoring right now. She's sleeping. So Jose Jonathan, Tom. Your name is uh, appearance. You mean his appearance? Uh -huh. Yeah, what does he look like? He's got short brown hair and and he has a nice smile. Smile. And, uh, and he has a brown eyes. Okay, nice. Look, nice smile. Say it, nice, nice smile. Smile, smile, right? Like that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see, before we go, because we are running out of time actually, you know, we don't have like much time to complete the next uh, activity that is, is this one. But we are going to discuss the first question be before we say bye-bye, okay? Um, Margarita, Genesis Margarita, what do you look like? Tell me in short, you know, a brief description of your appearance. What do you look like? Uh, I'm small. 
Short. And yes, I'm short. Uh -huh. I... Um, measure? Measure? Middle? Ah, my height. My height oh, is... My height is one meter... 15 cm centimeters? Oh, centimeters. Centimeters. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You are, yes, you're short. Yes. Tell me about your, your body. Are you, I'm, are you slim? Are you shabby? I am slim. I'm a slim. Okay. Yes. Very good. I, how do you say peso? I weight. I weight, uh, 100 liver pounds 100 pounds. Pounds. 100 pounds oh yeah you're slim <laughs> and my hair is black but i i dye it i dye, I dye. it uh -huh. yes Good. and my eyes are black black and i have brackets <laughs> braces 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 okay, i wear braces. i wear braces teacher i wear and i have a small ears small ears okay yes no se ven. <laughs> <laughs> because you are short i mean everything yeah. has to do with you know your 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 complexion right your body complexion thank you so much now let's listen to the next person i want to listen to elmer what do you look like, Elmer? Are you tall, short, medium height? I I have a straight not um I have medium medium height. Medium height. I am medium height. I am medium height. And my skin is is Olive. Uh -huh. Olive? I don't remember. <laughs> are you are you slim, thin, or shabby? Very fat. <laughs> I don't I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You are like average weight. Average weight. The peso medio puede decir usted. Average weight. Yeah, and my eyes i have i have a small a small eyes i have a small eyes what color are they blue teacher blue <laughs> green i don't remember how to say my color eyes. Uh -huh. and what's the color um brown brown okay you can see more or less okay thank you thank you and the last person it's going to be a lady ah a person that that has the camera off okay because i i cannot see the the, the person ah, everybody is you know turning on the camera hmm, cheaters ah let's see brenda brenda what do you look like tell me okay. about your hair please my hair, my hair is is curly. <laughs> curly, uh huh. Short or long? Um, it's long. I have long, long, long curly hair. Yes, yeah. uh, my eyes are uh, brown, and my my. <laughs> My your skin co color, your skin color. Olive, olive. No sé qué. I have olive skin. I have olive skin. I have olive skin. Uh -huh. uh, my my eyes are small. <laughs> and my eyes are small. Okay, listen. Study please the vocabulary because on Monday, people. Everybody is going to give me descriptions, not only about yourself, but about other people, okay? And let me tell you that the first oral activity is going to include a uh, physical appearance uh, descriptions, okay? So this is going to help you as a practice, okay? So 
the weekend. The weekend is around the corner. Tell me, uh, Miss Amayoa. Hey, I have a problem with the exercise because my my I am doing in my cell in my cell phone. Ah, you mean the 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 worksheet? Yes, uh -huh. I have a problem because I am doing the in the cell phone, but I am doing in the computer oh, later. Later. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. uh, Brenda. Okay, everybody. Time is up. Let's meet on Monday and let's have a great weekend. I wish you the best. Okay, see you. See, see you, you class. Tomorrow. See you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, okay. Have a have a great night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you.